This time we have a problem that involves the E. So remember, whenever you take the derivative of E to the U, the derivative that we're using is E to the U times U prime. And that's what we're going to be applying for this problem here. Notice that we have this one going to infinity. The Hopitzel's rule can be applied whether you have zero over zero or infinity over infinity. We can apply it. So in this case, if I put infinity on top and infinity in the bottom. I'm going to get infinity over infinity, which means that I am allowed to use the Hopitzel's. So we're going to take the derivative of top and bottom separately. We're going to apply the chain rule, apply that special uh, formula for e to the u here. So derivative is e to the 2x times the derivative of the top, which is going to be 2. So that derivative is going to be 2e to the 2x. And this will be minus 3x squared, and use a power rule there. On the bottom, I have the same thing as the top, so this is going to be 2e to the 2x, and then derivative of 1 is going to be 0. Now, we could keep it in the form like this, like I have in the notes, and keep on going derivative of top and bottom. However, what you can do is you are, you are able to do a simplifying step. Now, the most common mistake that I see students making is they'll just cancel this out and then just have minus 3x squared left over. That's not correct, and the reason why is because you've got to divide both things by 2e to 2x. So if you are going to do it this way, I just want to go ahead and show you this way of doing it in case some of you might be thinking of uh, doing it that way. We're dividing both things by that. If I divide the first one, this over this, I get a 1. But the second one is going to be minus 3x squared over 2e to the 2x. So yeah, you are able to break it down like that, but you have to make sure you have you do the second piece as well. So if I put infinity uh, in this situation here, if I put infinity there on that, now I know that uh, the limit as x goes to infinity of 1, what I can do if you want to use limit laws here is technically you're going to be doing this. You have to split it up into two separate things. Okay, so I have 3x squared over 2e to the 2x. Okay, this part we can do automatically. We know that that limit's going to end up giving you a 1 there. So I know that I have now 1 uh, plus the limit x goes to infinity of 3x squared over 2e to the 2x. And this is going to be a plus and minus here. Okay, so now I have this written down there. So we have a fraction part. That's still going to give us infinity over infinity, so we're going to keep applying the Hobbitoes rule. So now I have 1 minus the limit, x goes to infinity, i got to do a derivative of this again. So I get 6x on top over, okay, e to the 2x, that derivative is 2e to the 2x, we already have a 2 there, which means there'll be a 4 that comes out front, and so I get this. If I put infinity in here, once again I get infinity over infinity. Uh, so that means I need to do another time derivative of top and bottom. So we get 1 minus limit x goes to infinity. The derivative of 6x is 6. On the bottom I have e to the 2x, which is uh, 2e to the 2x, that derivative, times the 4, and 8 out front. Okay, so now we notice that we don't get a 0 on top anymore, which means we don't have to take any more derivatives here. If I put infinity in the bottom, okay, I have, I have a constant over infinity. We talked about that before. This whole part's going to go to 0, which means that your final answer for this whole problem is going to be a 1. So I showed a little bit different method here than what I did in the notes. In the notes, you could have just kept working with top and bottom and not simplify anything. You would have gotten the same answer, but I just wanted to show you also that there are multiple ways of doing these kind of problems. Either way, your answer is going to be 1.